In working through your takeoff projects, you may have a time when you need to call a product that is not in the pre-built ML database. For example, let's say that you have a project where the fascia beam specified is a 7 and a quarter by 12 foot PBML fascia. You come to the fascia application, search for PBML, and notice that that product is not available for that application. At this point, you can create your own custom product by clicking the custom button. A new window will appear, and you'll notice in the upper left hand corner, the radio button is set to database product. We can search again from here just to make sure that the product is not available for another application in the database. We'll search PBML and note that there are no products shown. So at this point, we'll change the radio button to custom product, and we can start building a new product. We'll start with the product family name. In the name, you're going to type out the name of the product just as you want it to appear in your material list when you print out your report without entering any attributes. We'll get to the attributes a little bit later. So here we've entered seven and a quarter by 12 feet PBML fascia. The next step is to assign a category to this product. You can choose to select a specific category, or in this case, we'll just click the siding to choose the general siding category. After making this selection, we'll move on to the next section, dimensions and units. You can follow the diagram to give you an idea of what the dimensions should be. So here in the dimensions field for the width, we'll enter 0, 7, 4, 0 feet, 7 inches, and 4 sixteenths. And next for the height, since the height is half an inch thick, we'll enter 0, 0, 8. And finally, for the length, we'll enter a simple 12 for 12 feet. And if you're using pre-built ML to price your materials list, you can set what unit you'd like to use for this particular product's pricing. In this case, we'll choose each. Next, we come to the attributes for the custom product. These would be the different ways or different styles that you might call this product. For example, let's say that this fascia came with a cedar mill finish. We can type cedar mill and click add to add it as an attribute for our fascia. We could add another value such as smooth finish. Once we've typed it in, click the add button and it's added as a possible way to call this product in the future. We'll make one more entry of rustic in this case, and any time that we call this product, we'll be able to choose between cedar mill, smooth, rustic, or not specified. Finally, we can move on to formula adjustments. Here there's a 10% waste added for any time that we use this fascia product with the fascia application. I'll change this to 5% and then click create new custom product. And now the custom product has been saved to the project and is assigned to the fascia application in our takeoff items list. Custom products can also be created from the lists tab. So head up to the project tab and then over to the lists tab. And then I'll expand the exterior trim pack. And now to create or use a custom product from the list, simply click into the product column for an application and click the custom usage button to open the custom cre uh, product creation window. Finally, it's time to head to the custom products tab over in the profile. From here, you can manage all of your custom products. You can click the edit pencil to make adjustments and changes to the products that you've created. Your products can also be renamed or removed from this list. And additionally, you, the custom products tab allows you to specify additional applications that might be associated with your product. So, for example, we created the PBML fascia under the fascia application, but we could also add the board siding or band applications as potential options for our product. And finally, if you have created custom products and you would like, that you would like to use in future projects, you can use the export and import buttons to save custom products and load them into other jobs template files, or share them with other estimators in your company. To do this, simply choose which product you'd like to export, and choose somewhere on your computer that you'd like to save the file. Give the file a name, and then click Save. Then it's as simple as clicking the Import button and choosing your saved file. So, whether you're working from the digitizer or from the list, 
custom products can be created on the fly and stored for use in future projects.